Welcome. Let's take a look now at a risk event for the week starting Monday, the 10th of October. I want to bring up uh, some details about the Consumer Price Index, which is out on Thursday, because I think this is going to be the big um, area of interest to watch in for. We're looking there for economists' uh, forecast of 8.1%. Now, this is expected to be down from the 8.3% we saw in August, but the core CPI forecast to rise 6.5%, up from 6.3% in August, and that could well be uh, one of the more serious uh, things to watch out for. There's little doubt now the Fed will raise rates by 75 basis points for the fourth time in a row at this next meeting. Newly appointed Fed board member Lisa Cooks, the latest to support the bank's broad consensus for continued rise in rates. She said inflation remains stubbornly and unacceptably high, and data over the past few months shows that inflationary pressures remain broad-based. Fed Governor Christopher Waller, another one out recently, he said, I anticipate additional rate hikes in early next year. Chicago Fed President Charles Evans added his voice. Inflation is high right now, and we need more restrictive setting of policy. Neil Kashkari, another big hawk on the committee. At this point, there's been almost no evidence that inflation had even peaked. And John Williams, the New York Fed president, our job is not yet done. That doesn't stop there either. Cleveland Fed president Loretta Mester, another one. My presumption is that we will not be cutting rates next year at all now. And Mary Daly, she's the Fed president of San Fran. Uh, she says we're going to raise rates until we get the restricted territory, and then we're going to hold it there until inflation comes down closer to 2%. Now, if we do get a strong reading out on Thursday, I'd be trading this chart short. Three days in a row now we've got going into the weekend. We're now down at 75.58. Now, this is after the release of that stronger than expected non-farm payroll data. So going into the new week, we're trading now around these sort of levels. And um, if I see a strong number come out on Thursday, I absolutely think we're going to be closer to this line of support at 95.50, which was the two decade low for the euro against that stronger US dollar. With money going into the dollar as it is, it's accepted that this will doubtless continue to be the case if indeed we get confirmation the Fed's going to go again for 75 basis points and possibly again towards Christmas as well. If we get any indication from the Fed at that November meeting, we're going to be seeing uh, more interest rate rises going into 2023. Then I think this 95.50 is all, uh, going to be uh, the price target to watch out for. Now, if you are short on this, uh, going into the weekend. I put my stop above this line of uh, resistance at 98.64. So your stop at around about the uh, 99 level, where we are 97.55, going into the new week. There's still a bit of water to pass under the bridge until Thursday, but nonetheless, that is a risk event to watch out for for next week.